Hello everyone, in today's video I want to show you a couple of advanced color grading tricks that I have never talked about on my channel before, but I do really like to use them when I'm developing different looks and I thought that you might also want to incorporate them into your own color grading workflow. And we'll be grading today's clip from the scratch. So even if you are new to my channel, if you are new to color grading and DaVinci Resolve, you'll be able to see how you can grade your clips step by step. Let's start. And this is a clip for today's tutorial. It's a red clip and it has already been converted to Rec. 709. I am working in the color mesh environment. These are my settings. And if you are new to DaVinci Resolve, and color management and you want to learn how to properly remap all sorts of different clips from different cameras i would really recommend you to join my course you can find a link to it below this video as there you can learn all the color grading basics and more advanced things so feel free to have a look at its curriculum but coming back to today's clip we will start from the primary color correction so i will hit option s to create a few serial notes and today I will do separately balance, exposure, and contrast. So let's move to balance. And I can see that my clip is rather on the warmer side. And I can also read it from my scopes. So I will balance it a little bit. And there's a few ways of balancing the shot. You can learn all of them in my course. So we could use the temp slider, for example. But my preferred way of adjusting the balance is by using the offset wheel that alters the image uniformly. So I will push it towards blue, just a touch. And this is our before and after. And now let's move to the exposure. And again, there's a few ways of adjusting the exposure. We could use the white curve over here, for example. But again, I prefer to use color wheels so looking at my scopes, making sure that I don't go too high, I will push the gain up first. Then I will decrease the lift a bit. And then I will also decrease gamma. Okay. And I can actually increase my gain a bit more. And this is before and after. And now let's move to the contrast node. And here I will use the contrast and the pivot sliders to adjust it. And this is before and after. And this is also before and after the whole primary correction. Now we will move to the secondary color correction. So we will use parallel nodes. So I'll hit option S and option P to create two parallel nodes. And here I want to bring up our actress just a bit more. So I will label my first node as person. And the second one will be the face. All right. So let's move to the person node. And first we will isolate the girl from the shot. So let's grab a round power window. And let's place it over her. And then let's soften it. Okay. And now I can also turn my highlight mode on to be able to see what I'm doing. And now we need to track our power window. So now let's turn the mask off here to be able to see better what we are doing. And now I will take the advantage of the log wheels that will help us sculpt the image a bit more. So I will push the mid-tones a bit up first. And let's zoom in to be able to see better. And then I'll also decrease the shadows. And then I'll push mid-tones a bit more. And this is our before and after. And now we will focus on the face a bit more. So let's zoom in again. And let's move to the second parallel node. And here I will use my qualifier to isolate the face. Okay. And now I need to use my sliders to adjust it. It takes a bit of time sometimes. 
All right, and let's blur it. And now let's denoise it. And now again, we need to use the power window to isolate the skin. So I will grab the ellipse. I will place it on the face. And I will track it. Okay, and then I will denoise it a bit more. All right, so let's turn the highlight mode off. And here I will push my white curve a bit up in the midtones to brighten the face. And then I will go back to the contrast slider and I will increase the contrast slightly. And this is before and after. And now, because I know that most of you are not only interested in color grading, but you are also interested in all aspects of post-production, I would like to talk a little bit about Audio, the sponsor of today's video, because in my opinion, it's the best deal out there for the filmmakers looking for the royalty-free music. For me, looking for the music for my YouTube videos and other projects has always been very challenging, but Audio can make this daunting challenge very easy. I use the Audio Pro license that gives me an access to all music and sound effects, all cleared to use for YouTube and other social media. Audio search bar is very easy to use. You can search for the music based on the mood, genre, instrument or video theme. And they also have this amazing new AI feature called LinkMatch AI that allows you to take a link from YouTube, Spotify or SoundCloud, put it into the LinkMatch AI search bar and search for a very similar track in the audio library. Audio is the best deal for filmmakers. And now you can also get 70% off Audio Pro using my promo code and my affiliate link below this video. And now we are ready to move to the color grading techniques I was talking about in the intro. So the first one will be using the matte note and I will show you how you can use it to manipulate the highlights in the shot. So first let's create two more parallel notes at the end. And I will label the first note as highlights. And here I want to dim all these lights over here. They are too bright for my liking. So what we need to do here is to go back to the primaries and then let's push the highlight slider down to the max. And look what happens. The problem is that by doing this, we are darkening the whole shot. So we need to separate the highlights from the rest of the shot to be able to manipulate only them. And we could obviously use the qualifier but I do have a technique that is more simple. So let's right click on our highlights node and then let's select add matte and then let's select the name of our shot. And our shot has already been transformed nicely. And here there is our matte node. So let's click on it and let's turn the highlight mode on to be able to see how does it affect our clip. So what the matte node does, it takes the luminance of the shot and it creates a mask that affects only the brightest parts of the clip. And it also gives a very smooth roll off. So let's turn the highlight mode off now. And this is our before and after. And let's zoom in. Before and after. We have modified highlights a bit without affecting the whole shot. So now let's move to another technique. And this one is unfortunately only available to those who have the studio version of DaVinci Resolve, as we will be using the beauty tool available only in the studio version. And the beauty tool is a very quick tool designed to refine faces, but I really want to show you how it can change the quality of the whole clip. So let's label our last parallel note as beauty and let's grab the effect from the effects tab over here. And the beauty tool has already automatically changed my shot. Let me zoom in to show you. And look here, this is before and after. 
and also look at the face before and after. So this tool has softened the shot a bit, giving it some sort of dreamy look. And here we have some options so we can modify the effect. I usually don't change too much here. I usually only play around with the strength slider and the quality I always obviously set to full. And then we also have other options related to detail and texture recovery. So you feel free to check it out in your own time. Thank you so much for watching my videos, guys. I hope that you like them. If you do, hit subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment below. See you soon.